Hey, what's going on, YouTube Nation? This is another episode of Real Life Solutions with Uncle T. How's everybody doing today? Hey, we want to talk about today about the entrepreneur's prayer. You know, when you become an entrepreneur, you want to be successful. You want your business to grow. You want to get your business out there. You want to associate with the right people. Uh, you want people to understand your vision. And you want people to uh, spread the word and let everybody know that you're in business. And, you know, you're here to try to take care of yourself and uh, sustain yourself and, um, and make a great business. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times that we learn so many things in business that no one kind of tells you. Uh, some of the things you have to learn on your own. Uh, Sometimes you have people who will try to derail you, uh, take you out, uh, give you bad information. Uh, people will try to talk about you. Or, you know, sometimes people go into business and not really think things through. So I always tell everyone to always get your right research. Take the time out to study your competition. Uh, take the time out to um, see what the cost is. Uh, what is it going to be the cost to sustain your business? And, you know, and uh, who is your market, your target market? And uh, just just little tips like that um, that will make you help make you successful. I know that when I had my uh, cleaning franchise, you know, I learned every year I would learn something new uh, from not only businesses, but just talking to owners, talking to other franchisees. Uh, you always learn something new all the time. And there have been many times when, you know, sales are up. You know, contracts are up, contracts are down. Sometimes we you lose contracts due to people going out of business or they're, or they're laying off people. Um, so, you know, those are all the things that you need to think about as an entrepreneur. But one of the things that I've been doing this week is uh, praying. Uh, prayers for different things. You know, I have wrote down a lot of prayers in my own book that uh, that I pray, still pray from time to time that I felt that were so meaningful at the time when I was going through different things. And I wanted to share some of those prayers uh, that I prayed with you. And the one that I call was an entrepreneur prayer when I was in business. And I'm still in business now. And, um, and I believe that maybe this prayer, entrepreneur prayer, uh, may be a prayer that would help you. And if you would... I like to share that uh, prayer with you. And I said, uh, Dear God, thank you for granting me the gift of another day to impact people in the way that only I know. I offer up my gratitude for the unique gifts and talents you have bestowed upon me that I may be a blessing to the world around me. Allow me to always walk in truth and integrity as I present my business to the marketplace. Surround me with the right people the right resources and clients that will lift me up and support the vision you have given me. I decree and declare that word of my business will stretch as far as the east is to the west and that thousands of people will be blessed by my hands. Guide me by ordering my footsteps and directing my tongue as I share my passion. I thank you for prosperity and abundant financial growth in my business that I give back to you. Keep me focused, O oh Lord. Keep me unshakable and unstoppable in my assignment as you continue to make my name great. I will give you all the glory in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And those just some of the things that praying, you know, over the years um, really helps out a lot. Uh, so many times that you know, we, we, we kind of look for answers. You know, I always go back to, you know, King David and uh, and uh, Solomon. You know, God says, if you want wisdom, you ask for it. So a lot of times when we are in our business, um, when you don't understand things, you ask questions. But some things are just common sense or wisdom or um, they're just godly wisdom uh, on just how you do things. And like I said, to 
my biggest thing with entrepreneurship is associating yourself with the right people and uh, having the right resources and people who are going to elevate you in your business and not tear your business down uh, who don't want to assist you. Um, but if you uh, if you enjoyed uh, the entrepreneur's prayer, and if you would, if you'd like to comment in my comment section or if you'd like to subscribe or give me a thumbs up and a like, I would really appreciate it. And uh, until we meet again, this is Uncle T. Y'all have a good night.